Liz and Elizabeth from Simple Simon and Company, and we are here with our very last um, episode of our modern quilt along as far as putting our quilt together. So this is our modern version of a nautical summer quilt. And we've made a baby blanket, which is going to finish at 40 inches by 50 inches. And we need to use our four patchwork blocks and put them together today to make that quilt. So the first thing that we need to do is correct my mistake from part four. I cut wrong. It the happens. Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. So let's just go and trim that off. So what I like to do when I square up all of my quilt blocks is to find the center point. For example, I'm on a cutting mat where I've kind of, I'm going from one to 11. So I know I have 10 inches in here and I need the center of my quilt block to be at the number six. I just eyeball it. You could actually measure, but I don't ever measure. And then the next thing I do is I take my line of my ruler and I'm line it up along with that seam allowance. So I know I have everything pretty perpendicular. And then all I'm gonna do is just fix my mistake. Right, right like that. And it's gone. We'll do the same thing with all four sides. If you'll remember, we made our block a little bit bigger than it needed to be just because we like to trim down usually not quite this much trimming off. Today's a good day. It's okay, we'll get everything trimmed down so all of our blocks will actually end up being 10 by 10 inch squares. So with all the blocks for this baby quilt and all the blocks that we did in our earlier section where we did the traditional nautical quilt, they're all 10 by 10. So they're all interchangeable and play nice together. All right, so I've got one, one more side. side. Perfect. All right, so we've got our block squared up and we have the rest of our three that are already trimmed and squared and ready to go. So we're gonna show you how to lay out the center one third panel that's in the quilt top. In our quilt, we have it in navy blue. Today we're gonna do a light gray to kind of show you how it can have a different look. And all we're gonna do is we have our sashing pieces that are now cut at two and a half inches by 10 inches. So our full baby quilt will be 40 inches by 50 inches, and all of those dimensions will be in the pattern, so you don't have to remember those. But let's lay these out. We've got one at the bottom. Here, do we need this cutting board anymore? Nope. Okay, then I'm just gonna move it right out of the way so we can just lay everything down straight. Perfect. All right. And I'm not going to put two reds together, so let's move him out of the way. I'm always like that too. I don't like to have the same colors bite. I like to spread them out. This block could go vertically or horizontally. I kind of like him vertical. I like him vertical too. And we're gonna run out of space here, but you can kind of see where we're going. We might do the red I one would next. Do, I would do the red one next. And then we're gonna have one more piece of sashing and our green one. And then all we're gonna do is sew that entire row together to create. I'll move that down while you're moving all those right. up and then we can have these ready to go. We're just gonna sew them right sides together. Again, we're gonna use our quarter inch seam allowance. And we're gonna run it straight through. Sorry, I'm messing up your groove over there. That's all right. This is what I do. And we're putting a sashing piece both on the top and bottom of this first block. Although we could chain piece it. Would you like me to chain piece it? Sure, we can do that. Okay. I will get them ready for you. Thank you. And then we'll see how fast we can. You might remember from one of our earlier videos during this quilt along that we do like to chain piece whenever possible. And that just means that we're sliding quilt blocks through without taking them out and taking the time to cut them apart. It saves time makes your sewing go a little bit faster. And Liz and I, sometimes if we have a quick deadline, we even tag team sew. So we really do it's sew like this. Bit. Quite often, we kind of have it down to a science. One person's the pressing fairy, one person's the sewing dude. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works out. Although usually I'm the one pressing and you're the one sewing. It's true. We've got a roll reversal going today. We do. It's throwing me off. 
All right, I'm gonna pull these out. I'm do gonna, it. Sorry, I'm reaching across to you really quick. I'm do what you gotta do. Pull these apart, clip them right here, and I'm gonna start pressing and taking over your job. Do it, I'm just gonna keep sewing some straight lines here. Perfect, what kind of straight lines. All right, I'm almost to the end. I'm gonna be ahead of you. I'll just have to catch up. I think Elizabeth was saying earlier that we like this style of quilt with all of the negative space. Negative space really is a attribute of modern quilting and we really like it. I like the, this, the feel that it gives your quilts where you've got the negative space which is your solid piece of fabric whether it's a solid color or if it's just a print, it really draws your eye into where you've done all of your handiwork. We use the same negative space technique on like a churn dash quilt that we actually did in our book that turned out amazing. It was Liz's idea. She brought this super bright lime green and orange floral it was and awesome. said, we're going to make a quilt out of this. And I kind of stared at her like, <laughs> she was like, hmm. oh, all right. But then we added a lot of white, which I really like, and it is actually one of my favorite quilts I, that we've ever made together. I love that quilt. Do now, I have a part I, of press? I'm like, I, oh, I'm look. muddling around looking for another piece of sashing. Maybe it's, we didn't cut it. So I'm going to improvise. I think, it's, I think it's on the end of one of these. It is it's disappeared. Not. <laughs> so I'm just going to improvise here. You cool with that? Yes. Okay. It's somewhere. I think Maybe we're missing two pieces of sashing. For the top and the bottom. For the top and the bottom. I think we only have the middle pieces cut. So we'll show you those. We'll show you how it should be here in just a minute. So this is how we had it, right? Red, then blue, then red, then green. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Okay. We're just gonna sew these guys together now. Now normally, like I said, there would be sashing on the top and the bottom, but I think we forgot to cut it. But in your pattern, it will tell you that you need to have sashing on the top and the bottom. I'll line these up and get these guys ready for you. Thank you. And all the way through. One more. We almost have our whole row finished. And then we'll just have one seam to join along the middle. We'll add those top and bottom pieces of sashing on as well. All right, I'm gonna pull you out and over. And let's open you guys up. Bam, right sides together as always. And it's coming along. Okay. Together, together. <gasps> There's a tail. Elizabeth always cuts off the tails on her half square triangles. She missed one. I missed it. So uncharacteristic. All right, down to the end. And that was quick. Our row is done minus oh, look, two pieces of missing, sashing. We're only missing one. Oh, sweet. Only missing one piece of sashing. It's probably on the floor behind us, actually. <laughs> so we probably. would have one more piece right up here at the top, but then we have our finished third that goes right down on the quilt. And then we'll show you how to lay out the other pieces that go on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The measurements of these will be in the pattern. This one on this side is 10 and a half inches by 50 inches on this side. So this one's 20 inches by, maybe let's just lay out the top. We'll kind of drape it over this side and then we can kind perfect. of see how the quilt. Oh, it's gonna, and you can see how the change in color kind of affects the feel and the mood of your quilt as well. So to finish off this last piece of the quilt top, you're just gonna sew this long seam and this long seam, and you will be ready to go. And press, of course. Absolutely. Always press. 
So that will give you a modern feel on a traditional take on nautical quilts and quilt blocks.